Welcome to Famous Fortunes. We're going to do something a little bit different today in that we are going to use our crystal ball to see if others are using a crystal ball. If you get my drift, we are going to be looking today as whether or not the royal family consult psychics. Uh, I did mention this in one of my previous videos. This topic did come up, it did come up, and it was in video number famous fortunes number thirty. Uh, this this topic did come up, but today we're going to have a bit more of a uh, a global view at whether or not the royal family use psychics. So once again, thanks to all my new subscribers. Uh, please uh, subscribe to help me in my quest to 1,000 subscribers. And yeah, keep the questions for future videos coming in the comments below because this is an interactive channel and we are on this journey together. So thank you, thank you, thank you very, very much. Let's, let's have some fun. All right, let's have a look and see whether or not the royal family consult psychics. Now, I'm going to look at a very general overview to start with to see if we can get some hits uh, to see what is going on. I do know that I can tell you for sure that there are wealthy people that consult seriously consult psychics. I can tell you that for sure. And they don't let, they don't tell people. <laughs> they don't let it be known. All right. Okay. So we'll leave it at that. I am going to do, but that doesn't, I'm not saying that I, that I know for sure the royal family use psychics. I'm saying that I know for sure that wealthy people uh, regularly consult psychics and tarot readers. Okay. And they keep going back for the because the information is useful. All right. So in that that said, let's have a look at the royal family. Let's have a look at the royal family. And and also too, you know, this is something that's been done throughout history. Uh, that you know this this type of thing happens. So it's not it's not a uh, it's not a new thing. It's a very old thing. Let's have a look at the royal family. Do they consult psychics? Let's have a general overview of the question and we'll take it from there as we do. Ooh. All right, let's have a look. We have here the six of coins. We have the page of cups. The king of cups. The seven of coins. And the star. <laughs> the star. Okay. All right. So... Interesting cards. Interesting cards. So, yes, there is... There is actually... There is... Before we lose the camera, there is an element of payment for psychics by the royal family. There's an element of it. They do at times do this. Now, these cards are interesting because this... This, to me, represents there is a wise man that they consult. There is a man that they have.
See, yeah, this is... The question here is... Another way you could read this, and I'm gonna probably I'm gonna clarify this, is you could say the king and his children do this. But I it, it has to be, we're gonna clarify that. This this card here is the big biscuit. This card is the big biscuit, and it's a giveaway of what they're actually uh, what type of psychic they're seeing. I'll get to that in a moment. Let's uh Let's kind of clarify this. Are we talking about a reader here or are we talking about members of the royal family? Because the cups element is actually the more spiritual element. So, you know, we talked about at the very beginning of this video, you look into the crystal ball, but who's looking back at you? So when we're looking into these cards, are we looking at the members of the royal family or are we looking at the, the people that they're consulting? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. You can see I've been doing this for some time, right? So let's let's clarify these two cards. I'm going to pull these out for a second. We're going to put them. We'll pull them back in just a moment. I'm going to clarify these two cards, and we're going to look and see if we can isolate. Are we talking about members of the royal family, or are we talking about actual psychics here? We have Justice and the Seven of Cups. Ah. So we have these clarification cards. Okay, these cards represent the royal family. These two are... Th this is the royal family here. They are the... They are the... This is the... This is the king position. I want to say this is Prince Philip. Yeah, I know. But yeah, you might, you might say... You might balk at that. But I'm going to call it. This is his children. This is them consulting. This card is the big enchilada. This card is the big enchilada, the big biscuit of the spread, because what, what type of psychics are they consulting? This card actually gives it away. They're not, um, it's not, they're not consulting tarot readers. They're not uh, consulting channelers. They're not consulting oracle readers. I mean, let me go down the list of things that this is not talking about. Uh, they're not consulting, you know, practitioners of I Ching or something, which I think is really fantastic. Um, I Ching is a really nice system. Uh, but but different to tarot. It is it is different to tarot and it has to be used in a different way. But that's, you know, that's, that's that. Uh, this card is actually talking about they're consulting astrologers. Okay? So, astrology is something that is important to them. Now, it, it does, it does, it, it is actually very interesting that they're consulting astrologers. Um, it makes me wonder, is this, it's, it, this isn't something I've read. I haven't read this. I mean, maybe, maybe, you know, in the comments, drop it in the comments. If you've read this before about the Royal family, uh, I'm going to say that this isn't something I've read and I'm going to say that this is news to me. It's not surprising. This is not surprising at all. Um, this is historically very common. Very common. I'm going to say that I believe that they are probably interested 
in looking into the charts of the, the leaders of the monarchy and the children of the monarchy, hence the King of Cups and the Page of Cups. That's why they are interested in astrology, because they want to know what is on the... Uh, I'm going to use the word on the cards, but that's not the technical term. They want to know what's in the chart of the king and the children. And it's very, very interesting to them. And they do have royal astrologers that they consult for a fee. If you recall, if you recall, they're looking into the charts of the leadership and their children, the heads of the monarchy and their children. Okay. So this is the target of their readings of their astrological charts. Uh, if you've ever had astrology, uh, astrological investigations done on yourself or someone you know, you need to put down their birth date and time as accurately as you can. And it goes from there based on different systems. Uh, there is an Eastern system and there's a Western system uh, that is used. This isn't my area if you like, uh, but they're using it and they're using it to plot the course of their, their family. <laughs> they are bullseye. 